Hi there, welcome to Sherry Stamp Treasures. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to create this um, fancy fold here. So it just opens up like that. Alright, it's really quite simple. Okay, so the stamp set that I am using is the Joyful Christmas stamp set. It's a Stampin' Up set from the Holiday Catalog. And we're using the Big Point Seta image as well as the Joyful Christmas Wishes. So the card base is actually four and a quarter by 11 inches. It's scored at five and a half inches. And I'm just going to fold along that score line. Use my bone folder to make it nice and crisp. And then it's scored at two and three quarters from one of the ends as well. Okay, and I'm going to fold it backwards. So that's going to give me that fold like that. Okay. Now on the inside, what I've done is I've got a piece of gumball green cardstock, and <clears throat> I've embossed it using the Pretty Print embossing folder, and I've got a piece of vanilla cardstock. So I'm going to position this so there's about an eighth of an inch from both sides and the bottom. I'm going to use some of our Tombow multi-purpose adhesive and just put a thin strip right here. And then this embossed piece will go over top and I want to line it up so there is about an eighth of an inch on both sides and the top. Okay. And then I've got a piece of gumball green ribbon that will get wrapped around like that. And then using mini glue dots, I'll just stick that in behind there, and then that will get adhered like that. Okay. So that's the basic fold and decorating the inside. As far as the poinsettia goes, I've stamped two poinsettias. One I cut out the whole poinsettia, and the other one I just cut out this center little poinsettia. And I'm going to use my bone folder and just give the leaves a little bit of dimension. I've got a dimensional on the back. Peel that back and line this up. It goes like this. Just position it right on top where it's meant to be. And that's my flower. Okay. And then that is going to get stuck onto a piece of gumball green cardstock. But first, before I stick it down, I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap paper here. So I'm going to do a bit of stamping. I'm using gumball green ink and the leaf image from that same set. And I'm going to stamp one in the corner and then a couple. Kind of like that. All right. And now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of adhesive on the back of my poinsettia. And I'm going to position this. I'm just going to find kind of the right the position where you can kind of see the leaves and the flower will still kind of be in the center. So just like that. That's going to get stuck onto a piece of vanilla cardstock, which is already adhered to a piece of vellum cardstock. It's going to go like that. That will go on the front like this. And then I wrapped a piece of ribbon around and tied a bow. So I'll show you the finished card again. There's the finished card. I did add a frosted finishes embellishment in the center um, that I've embossed with gold embossing powder as well. And I've done a video to show you how to do that as well. So you can check my YouTube, YouTube channel for that. Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you are interested in these cards, this this is one of the cards that will be in my September, or sorry, my October 2013 um, Stamp of the Month Club. So the Joyful Christmas is the stamp, and then this will be one of the cards, and I'll give you a few bits in the other card as well. And this will be one of the other cards as well. So you can visit my blog at www.stampedtreasures.com and then visit the Stamp of the Month Club page or the Virtual Stamp Club page to find out more information on that. All right, thanks for watching.